come onto villages. Um, so you uh, <clears throat> you can type in your address and before you sign up and just see what happens. So um, everyone in the world's going to see my address now, David. I hope I don't have too many visitors. So when you type in your address, it puts you on a map. So it, and it tells you how many, you know, people are sharing things around you and and um, who's who's posting and how many events are happening locally and and um, so you can just get a bit of a bit of a feel for it um, for how it works. Um, and then you you know then you get started and you s set up an account. But I'll um I won't set up an account right now. I'll just um log in. And I'll uh, take you to my, this is my home screen on Villages. So um, there's two different layers to, to the Villages. One is um, my village, which I'm in control of. So um, I can set the distance that it will find people from my house. So I've got mine set to about... Um, I think it's to one kilometre at the moment, but if you're in a regional area, you can set it to 10, and if you're in the middle of a city, you can set it to 500 metres. Um, so it finds people within that distance, and you can add those people to your village. So when I click on my village, um, you, you, can, um, you can see the local posts that people have got. So Gina's saying she's got sewing book, selling book patterns for babies and kids. Um, there's like a, a news feed that, that goes down there. And uh, and in the sharing library, you'll be able to create a post and you'll be able to create events and you'll be able to plan things together. So, you know, you can get get your neighbours together and you can you can say, okay, uh, who's interested in setting up, um, you know, street tree planting or let's who's interested in getting a, a, a little shared library happening in the street for, for books? And you can discuss those things as a local community. You know, what are we going to do about our local park? Um, you can set up local events, you can give things away, um, you can announce things, uh, and then you've got your sharing library. So um, the idea there is that you can, um, you can get access to, to other people's stuff and their skills. So you can list, if you're an expert at fruit tree pruning, you can, you can chuck that in as a skill and other people can approach you about that. Um, or it could be IT, um, could be, well, you never know, David, it could be... Um, Holochain intensives um, that you want to discuss. You know, uh, let's let's get together on a Sunday and um, and have a discussion about the um, comparison between um, blockchain and holochain um, and stuff as well. So things that you uh, would be happy to share with your neighbours. So um, you know, there's succulents there and a jigsaw and um, you know, there's a holiday house. There's you know, there's uh, you can list all sorts of things. Even like an alternative so, list management strategy for the Collingwood Football Club you could share with your neighbours? <laughs> you could definitely have a conversation about that. And I'll show you another place where it's even more relevant to have a conversation about sport or whatever in a moment. So you, you can manage the people in your village. Um, you can add, um, there's not, there's, at the moment, there's no new people that live within one kilometre of me who've signed up, so there's no one to add. Um, but you can invite your friends from across town. Um, if you don't like people anymore or you're having an argument or whatever, you can remove people from your village, which is totally fine. You know, we all have neighbours that we get along with and neighbours we've never seen and whatever, and we want to we help people find more of their neighbours, but not everyone gets along with everyone and that's, that's fine. You can also down here, you can add your friends across town. So, um, you know, you've got that one, I've got that one kilometre limit at the moment. But I can also add friends that I already have from across Bendigo because I already have relationships with those people and I'd be happy to drive to share things with those people. So that's, um, that's how your village works. But then the other aspect of it is communities. So um, these operate across Bendigo. So your village has that ge geographical, um, small geographical community nature to it. These ones are for communities of interest or community organisations that operate right across Bendigo. So anyone can join these. Um, and you have, you know, administrators or whatever for, for communities. So we've set one up at the moment. We've got 
uh, champions just signing up who are um, helping us with the platform. Um, but you can see there, you can you can post, you can create events, you can plan things together. Um, communities have the same functionality as a village, except they don't have the sharing library, um, and they operate at the Bendigo scale. So you could definitely set up a um, a sport group here and have conversations about list management. Um, you could. Get the, the local toy library could have a page across town, the tool library, the library of things, the repair cafe, the farmer's market, the sustainability group. You know, they can all have communities here that exist um, geographically right across the town um, and they can get their, um, you know, build, a, build an audience and, and get people involved in their local activities. So, you know, villages is, is um, you know, it's the first thing we're building. Um, you can also direct message people that are in your village. So you can you can send someone a message or create a group to, um, to contact privately. Um, that's also how your sharing library works. You know, you can click on um, you can click on your own stuff and skills. So I've got one here that's new economy books that have inspired Beehive. Um, so the way that you book other people's things is with a direct message. So you, you, you just get in touch with them and, and have a conversation and say, oh, I'd love to borrow some of those books. And, okay, come around on Thursday and grab it. That's fine. So um, that's, that's the idea with, with, uh, with villages. Um, it starts with you as a human being and a neighbour. Um, you subscribe to villages, um, but then everything that happens on villages is, is gifting. So... Um, you, you're basically building community. Now, our, our goal then is um, around villages, you build cooperative enterprise. So we're at the moment um, doing some final fundraising to set up the Bendigo Car Sharing Cooperative. Um, and what we want is people to use their identity and reputation that they created in villages to log in and sign into the car sharing cooperative and that identity and reputation will come back to them in villages and then we'll go out to food co-ops, energy co-ops, logistics co-ops, skill sharing cooperatives, uh, work co worker cooperatives um, so that you have one identity and one reputation that you then use as the currency of, of this whole network. So you can see there why we're quite interested in Holochain coming on board <laughs> because you know that'll that'll all be so so simple to do once we um you know once we get to that point. So villages is um, we're launching it in in Bendigo um, on the tenth of November, um, and the plan is to allow local places anywhere in Australia, um, local people anywhere in Australia, to subscribe to the platform from February. Um, and what we're going to do. Um, with that income is split it in three ways. So, uh, you know, when people around elsewhere around Australia sign up to the platform, um, that's going to um, create some income to improve the tech and it's also going to create some income to look at expanding globally and nationally. And it's also going to create income. We're actually going to pay local people in each local place to set up their own beehive cooperative that's a replica of ours. So when they subscribe, the, you know, the, the more people that subscribe in a local place, the more money there is to give back to that local place to then set up the governance arrangements so that they own and control their own local beehive. Um, then we'll have a network of beehive cooperatives who can work together, share IP and share ideas and, um, and you know, create this future economy that we want. Um, it also has you know, from a scale point of view, like we set up car sharing in Bendigo, there might be another local place that sets up, you know, the food co-op and the tech for the food co-op. And there might be another place that sets up the tech for an energy cooperative. Um, and then the idea is that each local beehive cooperative can just pick up that tech then and then set it up locally in their place. So all of the organisations will be local at the local scale, um, but the tech will be at the global scale. So... Um, that's the that's the plan. <laughs>